Hey, this is Tom Bonner, and I'm going to do a tutorial on how to modify your voice meter banana, assuming that you're adding a third-party software such as Voice Mod for doing voice changes or sound effects, and you want both your players in a uh, conference call here, such as Zoom, Discord, Google Meets, uh, Microsoft Teams, and you want any streamers here, assuming that you're using a service such as Twitch or YouTube. Uh, this is going to make use of the voice meter aux inputs within, t within voice meter. And it's also going to modify changing any hardware input you have for a actual USB microphone. This comes into play because when voice meter is running, it runs continuously in the background, even if you're not changing any voice that you have. This assumes that you have voice meter already installed and voice meter or already installed. Voice meter and voice mod. Sorry if they sound very uh, similar. So the first thing you want to do is go into your settings of voice mod. We're not going to change your input. Your input should be microphone Realtek audio. If it's set to a different input, such as if you have a coming from your Zoom players or other. It, it's just going to get messy, so I just find your actual physical microphone. And as you can tell, when I have it set properly, it's changing as I talk. What we're going to do is we're going to go down to the output, and we're going to find voice meter aux input. And we want to make sure the one that says voice meter aux vio. Uh, in voice meter, it's going to show up as voice meter aux, as you can see right here. The last thing that you're going to want to do is you want to turn on the option in the lower left hand corner. This is here myself. The reason why is if this isn't turned on, anyone in your players that you're doing over the conference call and your viewers, they're not going to be able to hear what you sound like. As this is going to act as an in between and a routing changer. So that way, as you talk, everything can go through, including your soundboard and you know, any voice mods that you're taking. Once you have that, you can go ahead and head back to your voice box, your main home screen, and we can get your voice meter set up. So the first thing is if you are using the aux input, where it's blank, you want to right click. I usually like to name the channel where the audio is coming from. In this case, I'm naming it voice mod because I know that all of the audio is going to be coming from the voice mod program. And the second thing that we're going to want to do is I would start by bringing this up to, say, negative two or zero in order to make sure that things are changing. To verify that you're actually getting audio, you'll notice that there's a bar right here that is changing as I talk. The final thing that you want to do is you want to turn on the outputs that this will be sending to. If you want to be able to make sure you hear yourself, you want to turn on that channel to verify what channel is what under hardware out. Again, this is output. From the top to bottom, it's going to be A1, A2, and A3. In this case, I have a headphones. I have a going to a Zoom call or a Teams call, and I have a big set of speakers. But that they can be whatever you are. It may be to your players, and it may be to Streamlabs or to Slobs or to OBS, whatever it is. If you want multiple sources to hear any voice change, including your players and your viewers, you'd want to turn on both outputs. In this case, I'll use A2 as I want to hear my players hear it. And I'm going to assume that the big speakers on A3 is to Streamlabs. So I would turn on A3, and now the audio is going to go to both channels. If you want to make sure that you're hearing it yourself, you can very well check it right here. So you'll notice as I'm quiet, or as I change things in real time, like I'm going to go to the narrator, and you should hear my voice change right away. And now you should hear my voice differently. Same thing if I go to type. Again, my voice should be different, so I'm going to bring back to clean. And if you want to have everyone hear any soundboards such as a nuke alert.
you should have been able to hear that without any issues. So that is how you set up voice mod. So m numerous sources can hear sound effects and your voice modifications. If you want to make sure that you can hear yourself, you just turn on whatever headphones that you have in voice meter. Hopefully this helps and I hope you have a good day.